of murder. In 2015, Lakeith Smith was convicted of killing Adante Washington. Smith's family and multiple nonprofit organizations are reaching out to the community to use their voice to help bring him home. WSFA 12 News reporter Monet Stevens with the story. An unfair and unjust conviction is what Daniel Forchio says has kept people like Lakeith Smith behind bars. Lakeith, under the felony murder statute, received a murder conviction and was sentenced to 65 years. Smith is being held responsible for the death of Adante Washington, although Washington was shot and killed by Millbrook police. We have a very racist and classist justice system and that wrongful convictions are very common and that's something that the public does not know about and they need to be aware of. The Alabama felony murder statute states that if a third party death occurs while another crime is being committed, the people who were committing that crime will be held responsible for the death. There were multiple people who believed the court systems were too harsh on a team who only committed nonviolent crimes. Imagine that Lakeep was your child. For some people, well, that issue hits too close to home. When I was 15 years old, I was charged with felony murder and um, I was sentenced to life without parole. By bringing awareness to Smith's story, the Justice for Lakeith Coalition hopes to rally the community together to bring him home. What's in it for us is that we get to live up to the moral code that we talk about and espouse and all the values that we say we are as a country and as a community. We get to really live those values if we are bringing people home who we know should be home with their families. Monique Stevens, WSFA 12 News, Montgomery. Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, you two? In the battle part two of the video. Okay, I probably do, uh, you know, the video about, um, let me see, I probably do, you know, update about, you know, the, um, the Keith Smith real quick. Okay, I did the video earlier, I took it down, and so, you know, I want to, like, you know, you know, add some stuff, uh, yeah, I probably, you know, want to add some stuff to the video, you know, the whole clip of the video, so I'm, um, you know, add news to the video I'm gonna do, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna do this story. Uh, I mean, so I probably do. Uh, I set up uh, an update about you know on basically the Keith Smith case. You know how he was um got falsely accused of murder, man. But when he was uh, probably when he was 15 years old, man. But um, okay, I seen this news. Uh, I seen this news like uh, on you know on um on news about the Keith Smith how he is um you know is got child with um. Murder when he was, you know, probably juvenile at the time, and uh, how they're gonna um had a little um this called the um uh just for I mean, I probably say that you know they're gonna have this little um I say uh this just for the Keith Smith, you know, how they're gonna you know have him out of prison, but and so I feel like you know they'll have the little on um, um collation going on out there, and uh, uh I say, remember that Obama. And so they had on, um, you know, yeah, I seen this, this, this video about, you know, you know, about the parents, and the family of, you know, of Keith Smith, you know, how the mother, I said, was in the video, how, you know, she was crying and how she was, you know, trying to, to get him home. But it's so, like, first know about this case, you know, back like uh, around seven years ago, you know, back seven years ago, like seven years ago, you know, that, um, that the Keith Smith got falsely accused of murder of, um, I said, oh, friend Dante Watson, and how, you know, how, you know, Dante was killed by the officer, man, but, and so, they had, you know, basically, father accused of him of, basically, I said, of his friend's death, you know, how they, you know, uh, I was trying to, like, you know, have him doing, uh, probably, probably, you know, since I used to prison, man, for the, you know, basically, for home invasion robbery in the murder, man, but, um, and so I feel like you know it's kind of wrong, you know, for anybody to accuse someone of murder, man. I feel like you know that that um county, um, you know, everybody Alabama is very much a racist county to where they would like falsely accuse, um, the Keith Smith of basically, I said old friends Dove how you know on how they was you know doing a little type of um home invasion robbery, you know, they turned bad, and so I feel like you know they trying like you know. Trying to follow the of him of this type of crime, so uh, so I believe they might, you know, might have him, you know, be out, out of prison with soon. So, I, so I feel like you know, it's a, a law in my state to where you know, it's kind of a law that uh, you know involves in a crime, like you know, 
it called the um the um Alabama felony murder rule, you know, like, you know, um it means that if you do a crime with somebody, it means that, you know, uh let's say if you are a person that do a robbery, you know, on their home, you know, or you kill you know, like you do a robbery, you know, with your partners and you kill somebody, it means that you know, you could be totally be responsible for the you know, for this person be you know being killed, but so I feel like you know, like do a crime with somebody means that you are totally responsible. Uh, basically for the friend's death or you know or somebody being, you know, being killed. But I feel like you know this law can can affect um people who I say who was incarcerated down here. But and so I feel like this rule it can um yeah I feel like this law can uh can um be uh hard to like you know to have somebody who's doing time in prison for a long time and they you know got probably accused of murder man but and so I feel like you know Lakeith Smith got first accused of basically a death watching the death how you know his um how the cop had shot Dante by you know you know about it being caught or you know on how him and his friends you know got involved in the type of um home invasion robbery you know they turned basically to shoot out and how you know the cop had shot Dante it's like David but they um I mean like. I mean, I did feel, but this um uh, last last month, you know, about how they, you know, had killed Dante, but on um, how they was, you know, on top of um home invasion robbery, lick, and they, you know, you know, shooting a uh, Dante, um, uh, just a shot of man, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like this law, I must say, it can be a, a you know, arrest law to where you know, uh, I said to where you know, I say you know they can can have somebody falsely accused and falsely. I said, feel of a crime, so I feel like, you know, Keith Smith you know, was a teenager at the time, so, you know, he was, you know, got false accused of murder, man, but, you know, how he, um, yeah, I feel like, you know, why would you charge somebody with a, you know, a crime that they did not do at all, so I feel like, you know, the law in my state, it can't be a, you know, type of law that it can, I said, destroy away. Black families, you know, if you got a child that is, you know, in the jail system, Mister, you know, they are, uh, I say, uh, I mean, suppose say they, you know, they either get false accused of, of raping somebody or either murder. And I feel like, you know, they are false accused of anything in life. So I feel like, you know, the like Smith got, you know, got railroaded by the law, man. So, so I guess they had trying like, you know, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, you know, my state trying to railroad him. By saying that you know that he got involved in, in this type of um homovation robbery league and how it turned back to where you know they trying to like have him totally we um uh, totally um we swan before you know Dante's his death and how his death affected his family man but so I feel like uh things kind of wrong with law how the law um like some state laws can be effective and some is kind of more bogus you know how they're gonna charge. Somebody you know of crime that is kind of probably unjust as fightable, but and so I feel like you know the kid Smith is doing probably the thing sixty five years now. So uh, so I guess depends how how long is you know the courts community can decide if he probably you know might go home or not. But I don't know. I feel like you know he doing. I say like, most of the time in prison for. What happened back over seven years ago, and how in how seven years ago, you know, it's not a long time. So I feel like he is a dude that's you know in jail for things that he did not do at all. So I feel like the host on um, law of my state is crooked, corrupt man, racist man. On how they could charge anybody with crime, they is innocent. But is so that had call him, um uh, yeah, they had call him on the on you know basically on invasion on um, robbery, but they. Had charged him with murder too. How murder can be, you know, on his record, man. But you uh, know, I feel like you know it's kind of of a bad thing to do is charge somebody, you know, with a crime like murder, man. How murder can be a number one act to do is to commit a robbery that kind of involving somebody can be killed in the process. But and um, yeah. And so I feel like you know his family. His mama might, you know, trying to get him out, of, you know, out of prison. So, 
So I guess the courts might decide, you know, if he might stay uh, out of prison for a while. So I guess they might, you know, have a little, um, have this little, um, justice for, I said, Keith Smith Day, I guess, you know, I did, you know, I said, my brother Obama, it's not that, and so I think Midbury, Alabama, it's kind of over a top of, you um, know, a small area, you know, which is, you know, I say, you know, I say Montgomery area, like, you know, Montgomery in, you know, it's kind of, kind of like more close to, like, to Millbrook or Tonkin, probably, but, and so I guess it's part of the Montgomery, you know, um, uh, I say the much part of the areas, but, and so I feel like, you know, like, you know, that type of kind I do, you know, it's my time, it's kind of over a top of, on um, the racist town to where, you know, they can be, more racist towards, you know, black folks, you know, like if you all oh you no, know, you know, a black man they get charged, you know, they get false accused of a of a crime, they could be you know, horrendous mistake, you know, that you know, that county is kinda of, you know over over top of uh, county to where, you know, it gets too much body towards, you know, black folks who are very much, you know, in poverty but and how they can get you uh, you know, a lot of time, you know, but um and so I don't know, I feel like, you know, Kiss Smith is doing, you know, probably his time in prison. You know, I guess he's doing 65 years. You know, I heard that he might get out when he probably 75 years old. So, I guess he might be, you know, getting old by then. But I, I, So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can't really, you know, don't know if they might, you know, let me out, out of prison, you know, probably for the long. So, I probably say that. He probably, you know, um, in his, um, probably, I say, uh, probably in terms now. So I probably say that he probably, as you know, in his, in, um, kind of, you know, in his early twenties, that he probably might just time in, you know, a lot of time in, you know, in jail for his, uh, role in the, um, home invasion robbery. But yeah, I think murder is kind of too extreme for somebody to do, to do that time in. But so I feel like, his case is kind of like too extreme right there to like learn how if someone can be uh said false accused for crime that you know they didn't they do it all but and so I guess if robbery you know him you know being you know as a black uh juvenile at a time how the whole state law kind of you know kind of had you know trying like you know, trying to you know trying to I say and trying to you know backdoor him and way to where that. He cannot, you know, get out of prison, but I feel like, you know, the law, it must stay kind of like racist. You know, you know, it can give, you know, too much more bias towards blacks, you know, but um, it's sad though. So, so, so make sure I like, comment, and subscribe to peace. I'm out here. Take care.